What's good, YouTube? This your boy Chi World back at y'all again with another art tutorial. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that like button, comment, subscribe. Make sure you hit post notifications so you will be notified every time you budge out some heat. And let's jump right into this video. First thing we're gonna do is drop the opacity down on the picture. Lock that layer and create a new layer right above it. And we're going to go to set our pen pressure on our brush by going to new brush, clicking OK. We're going to come down here to pressure and we're going to set this to three. Then we're going to go to the other side and set that to three as well. And we should now we got a brush. And to be able to get the little points, the little sharp points, all you gotta do is come in light. Then you gotta press hard in the center. And then you gotta come out light. And that's how you get the little sharp, the little sharp points. You see my how my lines be looking. And so first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and outline everything on the picture before we start. Now that we finished with the line work, we're going to go ahead and select everything. We're going to go to Object, Expand Appearance. Then you're going to go to your Pathfinder and click Merge. So we can make all our lines one. And then we're going to duplicate the layer by dragging it to this blank sheet of paper. Lock the top layer. Make sure you got your bottom layer selected. And we're going to click a skin tone. Let's see. And that's a pretty good skin tone to start with. Then you want to go to your rectangle tool. And you want to drag the color over your line work. And then you want to right click the color, go to arrange and send to back so we can send the color behind the line work. Now we're going to select everything together and then we're going to click merge so we can make our color one with the line work. Then you want to right click it, go to isolate, select group and now we can click these colors individually. And to get the color out the hair, if you want to get the color out the hair, what you want to do is you want to click the drop down menu right here. And you want to click it again. And when you inside of it, you want to stroll to the last black layer and you want to lock them all just by strolling up while holding the left on your on your mouse and then you want to unlock the top two lock all the black line work but keep the top two unlocked and then you want to close it now what you can do you can come over here and click this the selection tool and we can we can delete the pieces of hairs 
And what we just did, we locked the black line work and we kept the colors unlocked so when we make a selection we will not click our line work we'll only click the colors and now that we got a good base color what I like to do when I'm shading I like to go ahead and start with my darkest colors and then I want to I want to go up from there so what we're gonna do is we're going to lock that layer and we're going to add a new layer in between the color layer and the line work. We're going to get our dropper tool and click the skin tone. And then we're going to come and find a good, nice shadow to put on the skin. And as you can look at the original picture, we see he got a lot of sh dark shadows under the eyes and above the eyes so that's what we're gonna go for first and i noticed he got that same dark shadow inside of the ear like whatever is closer to these dark shadows that's what we just gonna go ahead and make this one dark shadow layer before we go to the the brighter layers above that so we're gonna i see around his eyes he have a dark shadow under his lips has a dark shadow so we're gonna put one there and in, inside the ear so that's what we're gonna go with first so let's go ahead and start with that and you want to try to make it make sense so we're gonna try to make it make sense with all the creases You can look at a lot of different pictures. Like if you're doing, if you're trying to do cartoons or get better at your cartoon heads, just go through a lot of pictures that got that got different light sources hitting from different directions. Just pay attention to a lot of pictures you look at, like pictures that you got in your phone, or take a couple pictures of yourself in different scenarios and try to see where the shadows is coming more and where the light is hitting more and you just practice on it because to get better at shading you gotta kind of in a sense understand it you know what i'm saying like you don't have to understand like the proper way of, of how to explain it or talk about it but as far as just understand it as far as know what you're doing like know why shadow is coming in this way or know why the light is coming from this way so when you're drawing a picture from stretch and you just want to figure out how you should add your shades you can just already have in your mind like okay which way i want the light to come from and which way do i want these shadows to come from because once you figure it out and learn it and learn your own methods of doing shading it will make your artwork stand out so much and it'll make it so much better. It'll give it, it'll give it more of a feel. So. to add another layer underneath our dark shadow so we're gonna drag that layer and then we're gonna click his skin tone and we're gonna pick a layer that's that's kind of in the middle of dark and light okay I think that's a good that's a good balance so now what we're gonna do we're gonna look at how his shadows is shaped on his face and we're gonna use this shadow to, to make the shape 
that we see. I notice his cheekbones are very like distinguished, so Just like you drawing the line work, that's the same way you gotta kind of draw out the shadows. Cause if you really look at this picture, you'll kind of see it. It's kind of like just, I'm just following how it is on the original picture. And then we got the light shadow, the sound to do the highlight. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna create one more layer. And then we're gonna click a, we're gonna find a brighter skin tone. So we can do all the little, the little shines on the face. So, I want you to go right there. Let me make my brush a little bigger too. He got, got some shine on his nose. And what shading do, it helps better shape out the face. You know what I'm saying? Because without all these the shadows and shades we put on the face, it would just be so flat. But you, as you can see, once we added the shading, it gave it gave the face that we just drew more dimension, and it gave it more. It gave it a, a different look. Like without it, it was just flat. But when we start adding the shades, it start looking more and more like the person. So always remember when you're shading, it's a it's a part of the face detail too as well. Because you, as you can see, as soon as we take it off, it don't look like. It's the same person, but as soon as we add it on, we you can tell we use these shades to go ahead and shape out the rest of the face. So what you want to do, what you want to remember is when you shading, look at look at your picture, and you want to try to copy it as much as you can. You want to try to copy every shadow, just like it's it's line work. Just like you trace the line work, you want to try to do the same thing when you're looking at the the shadows, you want to try to go through it. And you want to try to see, if I was tracing the shadows, what I would have did was, I would have got my darkest color and everywhere I see this little dark complexion, I would have just went and traced that, like above the eyes, under here, same thing on the other side. It's a dark shadow right here. Dark shadow under the nose, under the lips. And that's all it is. You just wanna You just wanna copy exactly what you see on the picture. And the closer you get, like the better your picture will be like. It just take practice. The more you do it, the better you'll, you'll, you'll be at it. And there you have it, man. How to shade in Adobe Illustrator. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that like button. Comment, subscribe. More heat coming soon. And I'm out this thing.